Hello guys and welcome. Um, welcome back to the, the Bloodborne playthrough. Uh, continue from where we left off. So we just got to the Cathedral Ward after beating Gascoigne. Okay, so this is the first time I'm here, so I think I've already unlocked uh, Yosefka's clinic uh, by talking to Yosefka at the start. And uh, now we can talk to the uh, the uh, the chapel dweller. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilks. So we smell. These hunts of everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, Tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> oh god, what is this thing? <laughs> it's like it's melted into the ground. I know I shouldn't be asking that, <coughs> but if you happen upon someone while hunting, Tell them about this here Erden Chapel, if they seem worth being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> um, actually, I think we've got to go back. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen, if, oh, and I... So this guy's offering sanctuary in this place. Um, so yeah, as soon as you get into here, there's a door to the side which is locked right now. Um, the pathway to the top, which is also locked, I believe, actually. Let's have a look around. And pretty much die straight away. So if we come here straight away, there's an item in the corner. Uh, if we come to this bit a bit later on, there's a there's a snatcher there, which is a bit harder to kill. But I guess you can avoid him anyway and just run around. It's only a, uh, a madman's knowledge anyway. Uh, so Madman's Knowledge, those items give you more insight, which is the, the, the eye in the top right corner. And it allows you to see things. And also, it can also be used as currency as well later on. There's not much else up here right now. This gate is locked. The wooden shield. So the only other way to go from here right now is down this uh, this little doorway here. Try not of stamina. But. Oh, 
Okay, and then we get to this little, uh, this little square area. Um, yeah, now we don't have much insight, or we don't have an item. I think it might be an item that lets us see this. Or maybe it's progression in the game. Uh, there's an item over here. You can collect it. Just need to move out quickly. Otherwise that strange light appears. Uh, if we stay in there, we die. Um. Yeah, this guy's got a massive swing to him. should avoid that guy for now. Um, but yeah, if we head up here, this gate is going to be locked. Um, there is an item you can buy from the Hunter's Dream. I think it's like 10,000 Echoes. Uh, you can buy an emblem, emblem and that unlocks that. And that, sh that like, should progress and skip some uh, some other areas in the game. And go straight to uh, Vicar Amelia. Here we go. I guess. Staggers on that guy. Oh man, I should be wasting files if I keep trying to hit this guy. Drop some weapon upgrades, so that's not too bad. Uh, there's not much to explore down here. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. There's a few enemies. Try and get these guys over here. around this guy. Just waste my bullets instead. Maybe I'm like just way too soon with that. This guy's got crows near him, I don't know if we can get backstabbing. Let's try. Still work. Oh, I hate those damn crows. Is there anything down here? Nope. We've got the monocular. This is just uh, an item you can, uh, you can put on to let you have a look at stuff. Gives you a nice little uh, view. View of the city and the moon. I don't know if it does anything else though, like uh, some of these uh, some games you can kind of get like glitches to make you run faster and stuff. I don't know if you can do any uh, uh, glitches with the monocle to do the same kind of have the same effect. But this this game is beautiful, by the way. There's loads of uh, like loads of detail in it, so it's always nice to have a have a close look at things to inspect them. 
see if I can kill this guy. Put his uh, big ball. Now this guy has a lot of range. But I mean, like, for a game like Bloodborne, like, uh, yes, if you've been for it a few times, yeah, you could just switch the music on, but just, uh, like, this is a game that is nice to enjoy with the music on. That's all that was down here. Uh, there's nowhere else to go from here. But this is the uh, uh, this is the door where we fought the um, uh, the beast, the uh, the cleric beast on that bridge. I thought it was the other side of that uh, bridge door. Just walk across there. <laughs> Can we see this? Uh... Yeah, there it is. So that's the guy dying, he just gets taken up by the hand. Um, okay, so before I go to the next area, I'm just gonna. Uh, but uh, continue a few uh, quest lines for the NPCs and move some of them along and uh, bring some of them to the chapel. Okay, so we came here before. Um, everyone walked up to the store and the lady, Yusef, actually said she wasn't letting anyone in. Hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, if you find anyone who's still human, Send them straight to Yusefka's clinic. You can assure them there's no place safer. Please, do me this service. There's no place safer. Uh, so I'm sure you've seen this before. But uh, she's got a... Is that a sword? She's now got a weapon in her hand. Trying to get us to, like before she wouldn't open the doors to anyone, now she's trying to get us to bring people back. So this is a uh, imposter Yosefka. If you find anyone, you please. Okay, so now we've got two options. So when we speak to people, some some people um, at their doors, we can offer them sanctuary. Um, to one of those two locations that we've just been to.
Uh, so there's three people we're going to talk to uh, over here. One of them is this guy in this window. <laughs> oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I take this... The flame sprayer. I make no use of it, but perhaps you... me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. Ah, uh, don't you... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still got that COVID. Um... Who else are we going to see next? We've got two, I guess uh, this way is going to be easier. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we've got the flame sprayer from, from this guy, from that guy, which we can't use yet. And he's uh, eight points in a uh, arcane. Let's get some uh, some top ups from these guys down here. Get some more blood vials. Then speak to our next person. Free echoes. Apologies to all you uh, dog lovers out there. Uh, so the old lady, she asked us uh, before if we had a, had a place to go, and now we've got uh, three options. Don't say anything. Send her to uh, Odin Chapel or tell her about Yusefka's clinic. We're going to send her to Odin Chapel. Yeah, what do you know? An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go split some throats. Get this mess done with. Okay. Oh, I think... enough with you. Trust along. Trust... Uh, man, there's one more person I'm going to speak to. If I can remember how to get there. I think if the easiest way is up here. Uh, but then we've got the dogs to, to get through. Um, oh, let's do it. Try to get one at a time. Or maybe not. Shit. Oh. Well, it works pretty well.
That's some upgrades as well. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go this way. expect him to come up the stairs. <laughs> and then we return to little girl. Hello, Mr. Hunter. Still can't find my mum. Oh, okay, but isn't there something I can do? Maybe mum and dad are stuck out there, waiting for me to come and find them. What do you think, Mr. Hunter? Okay, so if we didn't smash the uh, the brooch to get the gem for uh, that I got for the weapon, then we can hand it back to the little girl. Um, and then I'm pretty sure she just stays there until her sister comes along. Uh, but we took the gem, so we've got the same options. Um, regardless of which we choose, the same outcome is going to happen uh, anyway, so... Actually, I don't think that's true. Um, I could be wrong about that, actually. Um, let's send it to Odin Chapel. It's okay. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. I love you almost as much as Mum and Dad. And Granddad. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think if I send it to the clinic, I'm not sure if she makes it there or if she ends up the same fate as what she will in a bit. Uh, where I'm going, so I'll finish here. That bit is done. Or is it? Two's a hunter's mark. I don't want to come all the way back this way, but I just want to check see if it's if she's kind of left uh, right now or if she leaves a bit later. Let's just uh, I'll check. Again. Get that extra molly. I think I'll have to come back in a bit. Didn't get that. You can actually punish that uh, jumping attack as well. Well, I always like to come down here just to get these extra vials. I kind of stuck up a bit.
has it happened yet? Uh, so it hasn't happened. It'll happen. Hold on. Red messenger ribbon. Ah, red messenger ribbon. That messengers are oddly fond of the thick, pungent red and white. Uh, drawn from the organs of some unfortunate victim. A strange choice indeed, but perhaps for the messengers wearing this accessory constitutes a form of mourning. Um, so if we go back to, to where the little girl was, she is no longer there. She left. She left on her way to Od uh, Odin Chapel where we sent her. But she never makes it there. response <clears throat> so there's no one in so we followed her trail she went down there on the way to Odin Chapel and met with the huge hog um, so let's go back this way let's go back to the chapel see if anything has changed over there I mean, I guess the kindest thing we could have done is just withheld information. Actually, I'll f I mean, check that out. I think if we withheld information, then she would still have ventured out anyway. I think it's only if you give her the red brooch back that she stays there. Um, but yeah, I mentioned as well about the uh, the doll in the in the hunter's dream like i wasn't sure at what point she kind of becomes available but i do believe it's as soon as you get your first uh, insight once you get your first insight which is a uh, when a uh, when you see a boss or uh, if you use one of the uh, uh, madman's things items uh, then she becomes visible so back at the chapel to that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. Triumph. Cool. If you find any sane survivors, well, send them a lot to Erden Chapel, will ya? <laughs> uh, so, so far we've got the one person. Do you think I owe you something? 
Well, that's a fine lark, I'd say. This whole mess at Yarnum's in, it's all your fault. Dependency outsiders. Our blood's ruined, tainted by your ilk. Don't you come near me. I know. Man, she's a bit hostile. She just kill her. No. Um. Okay. Yeah. I've encountered three of the the NPCs, or their voices at least. We've saved one person. So now let's uh, progress. The only way that we, uh, I'm not the only way. Like if we if we got ten thousand echoes here, we could go back to the Hunter's Dream, buy the uh, the handkerchief, and open the big gate just uh, down the other pathway. But we're gonna do it all content in this. Uh, so this next area is optional, but it is recommended to go down here because, um, you know, echoes, items, stuff like that, and the experience of the game. these items. So there's a house there. What is that? Just a, a building there with a tomb in the middle. Not gonna go that way just yet. another NPC. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Um, yeah, let's cooperate. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Fire paper, nice. <clears throat> That's uh, a weapon buff. You apply it to your weapon and it adds fire damage. And the prey. Beast hunting MO. is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Oodles. Um, I guess this is where we can find about some of the uh, some of the lore of the game. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. <laughs> Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. And talk about Bergenworth. Bergenworth is an old place of learning. And the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. 
But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the healing church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Uh, okay, so two major um, kind of factions there, the Healing Church and Bergenworth. And we'll get into those a little bit later. But it just from it seems like Bergenworth was the place where everything started, everything originated, and the Healing Church is a... Bergenworth's a discoverer, Healing Church is the distributor of uh, this, uh, this old blood. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. Um, and that is Albert. He's one of the NPCs. He's a hunter of vile bloods. Uh, vile bloods, uh, we don't, um, we're not going to encounter until later on. And that's another optional area. He is a, um, an apprentice of Master Legarius who we will also meet later on as well. Uh, but it's just a corporate of him just to get the, uh, the fire paper. Which is a good buff in this game for a lot of the bosses. Especially beasts. Uh, let's pull the switch. Uh, man knows knowledge. That was the one we picked up before. Hey, if you consume one of these, you get uh, insight. Be careful of this guy down here. And then we are going to go down. So we picked up a, a, a gemstone there. So these are a uh, tempered blood gemstone. These are um, affixes you can put on your weapons to increase their damage. Gems you can suck into your weapons. Um, so I've only got a f like two here. Not big increases, but every little bit counts. And then we're going into this dark area. Now, if you come into here, You've got this beast. It doesn't actually seem that aggressive. It's even work on these. I don't think it actually works on these guys. Like, yeah, he's backing off a bit. Then coming to attacks anyway. But it's not an issue. It's definitely effective uh, in the next part. If you if you have a torch out, uh, they'll back off a bit. They'll they'll kind of take their time when attacking. Um, whereas if you don't have it, they'll be a lot more aggressive. I'm gonna be using the torch in the next area. Just wondering whether it works on that one. I guess it like he was backing off a little bit, but I don't know whether it was like that before or not. Didn't seem like much changed uh, for me. Some antidote. Pull the, pull the torch out anyway because it's a bit dark down there. Punch and blood cocktails. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so do pick up the antidote. Antidote is just something that uh, gets rid of poison. 
Uh, these tablets only provide short-term relief. The ashen blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the beastly scourge. So ashen blood triggered the spread of the beastly scourge. Um, and then we picked up the pungent blood cocktail. A uh, mature blood cocktail that releases a pungent odour when thrown that attracts the bloodthirsty beasts. A precious tool in sadly short supply. Uh, a, a yarnum. In yarnum, they produce more blood than alcohol as the former is the more intoxicating. Okay, cool. Um, let's head up this area. I will be alright. Inspect. This town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. 